Hi kids! Today we will learn how we can measure angles. So let's get started. We learned that angles are... Angle is a shape formed by two straight lines diverging from a common point. Here, B is the vertex of the angle. AB and BC are legs of the angle. Interior is the space between two straight lines. It extends even beyond the ends of line segments. Here, white area is the interior of the angle. Exterior it is a space outside the two straight lines. It extends even beyond the ends of line segments. Here, the area marked with blue is the exterior of the angle. Now, let's learn types of angles. If the angle is less than 90 degree, we call it an acute angle. So, acute angles are less than one-fourth of a full circle. Now, let's learn about right angle. Exact 90 degree angle is called a right angle. So, we represent right angle like this. So, Right angle is exactly one-fourth of a full circle. If the angle is more than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees, we will call it an obtuse angle. So, obtuse angles are more than one-fourth of a circle and less than half of a circle. Now, Let's learn about straight angles. And 180 degree angle is called straight angle as it's a straight line. So straight angle is exactly half of a circle. Now let's learn what are reflex angles. 180 degrees Two 360 degree angles are called reflex angles. So, reflex angles are more than half of a circle and less than a full circle. Now, let's learn what is a full rotation or a paragon. 360 degree is a full rotation or a full circle. Now let's see how we can measure the angles. The amount of the turn from one arm to the other arm in an angle is called the size of the angle. And we measure the size of angles in degrees. Symbol for degree is this. Here we have an angle. Now let's measure it. We use a protractor to measure the angles. It has two scales marked from zero to 180 degrees. One is left to right and the other is right to left. We will see with examples why there are two scales on the protractor. The two scales make it easy for us to measure angles facing different ways. Here is an angle, we have to measure it. To measure the size of angle AOC, place the protractor over the angle so that the center of the protractor is directly over the angle's vertex, that is O. And the baseline of the protractor 
is along the arm, OA of the angle. We use the inner scale to measure the angle, AOC, as the arm AO passes through the zero of the inner scale. Following the inner scale around the protractor, we find that the other arm, OC, passes through the inner scale at 60 degrees. So the size of angle AOC is 60 degrees. We can write it like this. Now, we have another angle. We have to measure it using the same protractor. To measure the size of angle ABC, place the protractor over the angle so that the center of the protractor is directly over the angle's vertex, that is B. And the baseline of the protractor is along the arm AB of the angle. We will use the outer scale to measure the angle ABC as the arm AB passes through the zero of the outer scale. Following the outer scale, we find that the other arm AB passes through the outer scale at 120 degrees. So, the size of angle ABC is 120 degrees. We write it like this. Now, let's measure another angle. To measure the size of angle CDE, place a protractor over the angle so that the center of the protractor is directly over the angle's vertex, that is, E here. And the baseline of the protractor is along the arm ED of the angle. We use the inner scale to measure the angle DEC as the arm DE passes through the zero of the inner scale. Following the inner scale around the protractor, we find that the other arm, EC, passes through the inner scale at 90 degrees. So, the size of angle DEC is 90 degrees. We write it like this. So kids, we have learned how we can measure acute and obtuse angles. Now let's learn how we can measure reflex angles. Now, we will use a protractor to measure the reflex angle ABC. To measure the reflex angle ABC, extend the arm CB to D to form angle CBD, which is a straight line or a straight angle. And we know straight angle measures 180 degrees. So we will measure the size of angle DBA. Place the protractor upside down so that the center of the protractor is directly over the angle's vertex. That is B here. And the baseline of the protractor is along the arm, DB of the angle. We will use the outer scale to measure the angle, DBA, as the arm, DB, passes through the zero of the outer scale. Following the outer scale around the protractor, we find that the other arm, BA, passes through the outer scale at 45 degrees. So, the size of angle DBA is 45 degrees. We write it like this. 
to measure the reflex angle ABC. As the reflex angle ABC is equal to the sum of angle CBD and the angle DBA. 180 degrees plus 45 degrees, we get 225 degrees. Now, let's learn what are complementary and supplementary angles. Two angles are said to be complementary angles if their sum is 90 degrees. Example, 40 degrees plus 50 degrees equals 90 degrees. So, 40 and 50 are complementary angles. Let's take another example. 30 plus 60 equals 90. So 30 and 60 are complementary angles. If we have one angle and we are asked to find its complementary angle, we subtract it from 90 degrees to get its complementary angle. Example, what is the complementary angle of 55 degree angle? For that, we will subtract 55 from 90. 90 degrees minus 35 degrees, we get 55 degrees. So, 35 degree is complementary angle of 55 degrees. Now, let's learn what are supplementary angle. Two angles are said to be supplementary angles if their sum is 180 degrees. Let's take an example. 70 plus 110 equals 180. So 70 and 110 are supplementary angles. Let's take another example. 50 plus 130 equals 180. So they are supplementary angles. If we have an angle and we have to find its supplementary angle, we subtract it from 180 degrees. Let's take an example. What is a supplementary angle of 60 degrees? Kids, you have to subtract an angle from 180 degrees to find its supplementary angle. So, subtract 60 degrees from 180 degrees. We get 130 degrees. So, kids, today we learned how to compare angles. What are complementary and supplementary angles? Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye!